What's going on everybody? This is Little Ren with the Aficionados. I'm back on camera. It's good to see you guys. And we're here at Momocon 2016 and I'm here with the members of Kamikaze, one of the hottest webtoons right now. How are you guys doing right now? We're doing fantastic. This has been a great Momocon. Uh, I'm a little tired, but that's because this con is kicking butt, so... <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, uh, to be honest, I am having the time of my life right now at MomoCon, so thank you so much. <laughs> I love this mic passing, it's like telephone, but it's like what people really want to hear. So, um, I have fallen in love with this webcomic. I love that I can see it every week. You guys have been super consistent from the very beginning, and because you are taking on so many other projects involving Kamikaze, um, I know that you guys have been super busy, so can you just talk about the comic itself, kind of where it started, like in terms of how you'd have such a diverse cast, where you just got the idea, and what other project you're working on with it. Yeah, sure. So a little bit of background. Uh, Kamikaze is a Dust Bowl cyberpunk uh, webcomic. We update every Wednesday. We've been running for a little bit under two years. Uh, we started off as an animated TV series concept, and we're really strong believers in diversity and repre representation in media. Uh, our, our main character, Marquesia, is a woman of color, and uh, it's something where we decided to choose her as our protagonist because it's not someone you get to see in um, in that kind of role very often, especially in sci-fi. And we really wanted to make sure that we were, uh, you know, being you know truthful and honest about you know what a future world could be, and uh, and really yeah, go from there. Um, as far as uh, where it all really began um, was when. Back in 2005, summer 2005, Alan and I were chilling on the bed, drawing, working on uh, our homework for school, and um, Alan drew this amazing character. Just he just drew her out on a page, and I said, "That is interesting." And um, I thought it was very cool because uh, I hadn't really seen him draw women of color very often, and she just struck me as amazing. And I was like, oh, we gotta do something with this. So um, over the years, Alan and I just started passing back and forth this idea of like, okay, who is she? Where does she come from? What's her story? And um, eventually uh, we kind of whittled it down and a friend of ours uh, eventually came up to us we told him about it and he said look if you don't do something with this um, I'm a director so I will if you don't <laughs> um, I'll, say, I'll, I'll play not take it so we said all right fine um, and he actually um, brought Havana on and suggested her to us and ever since then she's been you know kicking ass and taking it without kicking butt and taking names sorry <laughs> um, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, kicking butt and taking names. Um, so yeah, here's uh, Havana. Yeah, I joined back in uh, 2012, and uh, uh, unlike, the, unlike my colleagues here, I don't have an art degree, but I've always had a passion for animation, for comics, and uh, it's, it's a really cool creative outlet for me, uh, at least. And I, I just love Kamikaze as a story, as a character. Um, these two are great to work with, and I'm so excited about the direction it's gone in. And I think it's really awesome that you guys are a couple. You guys are married. Uh, congratulations. It's amazing that you are two. I know that um, two people can <laughs> the two people can uh, collaborate like that. You know, you had a you drew a, a picture, and then you guys pass stories back and forth. That's just amazing. Some people wish they had like that kind of relationship with just like friends and buddies. Sometimes you're just like, yeah, that's a great story, bro. Anyways, and um, it's wonderful that that relationship is built on that. Um, so aside from again, you you've been consistent for um, almost two years, and uh, there were rumors and Twitter posts going back and forth about possibly a cartoon. Tune, but I know you guys are working towards that and um, you have a Kickstarter going to uh, get things, things a little bit more animated. Talk about that. So right now we've been uh, running a Kickstarter campaign to get our very first uh, printed volume made. Uh, this is really going to be the not only a, a great introduction for people who aren't necessarily uh, fans of web comics as a format, uh, but really love comics in general and want to uh, explore the world of Kamikaze, but also for us, uh, it's really our introduction to a whole other level of being able to take this project because uh, with this we'll be able to start um, making some revenue, being able to expand out the, the vision of the project, hopefully getting back towards the animated series that we always wanted it to be. Um, so 
with the Kickstarter, we've got some amazing backer rewards. Uh, one is the book, which is uh, quite substantial. Like, I thought it was going to be a little thinner than this, and it's quite thick. Um, we, yeah, there's so much of it. I mean, look through it. So it's, um, <laughs> so right now the comic itself has over um, three, 137 pages of full color. Each page for us takes about 75 hours between the three of us to create. And um, this is a story that we've been working on for a very long time. A uh, friend of ours, uh, Dan Jolly, who wrote the video game Dying Light, actually did the introduction for us. Um, he also um, helped us out with a side, small side project. So one of our other uh, stretch goals is actually getting his uh, version of the Kamikaze. He did a little Kamikaze comic for us, like a one shot, and it was wonderful. And we really want to get that printed so it can have development art and his script in it. So it's an, an educational tool as well as an entertainment, you know. Um, the rest of our book is going to have uh, world development in it as well as uh, development art that no one's seen before. So you get to see some of the really original iterations of what um, our lead character Marcasia and Kamikaze looked like. One of the most exciting things about this Kickstarter is just how validating it's been for the product. Um, I, I always was kind of confident that, okay, I, I think we can get funding. I'm pretty confident we can get funding. Uh, within 24 hours, I just floored at how we were able to reach $5,000 within 24 hours. And right now we are at 94%? 95% funding, yes. <laughs> What's funny is like we actually timed the Kickstarter so that Momocon's in the middle, just in case the Kickstarter wasn't doing so hot. Uh, so uh, it seems like everyone's excited about Momocon. I mean, comparing this to the very first convention we were at, I, I remember the three of us had to beg people to come look at sketches, and now people are actually coming to us, and we're getting crowded. Alan's talking to one guy, she's talking to someone, I'm talking to someone, like we are, man, it's, it's been super busy. Yeah, I only hope for the best success, and like, yeah, you're, you said you're 95%, and you still have probably, what, 15 days? Was it a 30-day? So that's good, and um, this is like one of the most perfect conventions to come to because if you look at the program guide, if you look at the, the talent that is here and what they represent, I think there's a huge amount of diversity and people are, are looking for that in their media now, in their anime, their animation, their gaming, and also uh, in their comic books. And like I said, you guys are local and you have this amazing product that this is just the perfect time, I think, to have put that out there. Um, how have you felt, you know, you kind of touched on it with the panel and seeing how your Kickstarter is a little bit like boosted up, those things are like climbing hopefully faster and faster. How do you um, feel about Momocon's way of putting diversity out there and getting it a little bit more broadcasted? First of all, uh, Momocon has been amazing. I have not seen a convention run so smoothly, so beautifully. Um, you guys know what you're doing and it shows. It is so professional. Every guest I have met has been floored by the professionalism that this uh, con provides by the way that the staff interacts with uh, pe people. Um, yeah, things things happen on time. I was actually talking to Matt Mercer last night and he was saying, oh my gosh, I've never been to a costume contest where A, one sm runs smoothly and two, runs early. Like, ends early. I've, that's never happened before. So he was blown away and I was kind of blown away by it too, but um, it was just... It has been an amazing convention, and in doing our panels, one of the things I love about not only the diverse guests and stuff, is just how diverse the audiences are, the, the attendees are, and how engaged they are. In doing our panels, we have even the ones that are so, and that are under attended, or, you know, small rooms that are more intimate crowds, these people have amazing questions. They have, they are so enlightened, and they're so, they're asking so many questions that I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to answer that. Like, uh, you guys are so smart, and I am just, I'm so floored by the passion you have, they have, everybody has here, and it's just, it has been a life-changing experience every single time I've come here. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's wonderful. So, um, I'm excited that you guys are here. I hope you enjoy Sunday. Were there any touching points that you guys wanted to talk about? We kind of got it covered. You guys want to enjoy the rest of your convention? <laughs> oh, I mean, obviously, yeah, like, where can we find you? How can they get in touch? Yeah, so you can find the comic at kamikazecomic.com. Uh, you can also find us on uh, Tapastic, which is a fantastic uh, sort of YouTube for web comics. Uh, we're a kamikaze there, uh, social media-wise. 
Uh, social media wise, we are uh, Kamikaze Comic on Twitter. I am personally Mermaid Shells on Twitter. Uh, Havana is Havana Tweets on Twitter, and Alan is, uh, excuse me, that tougher kid on Twitter. So if you um, ever have any questions, uh, we also have a Facebook, we have a Tumblr. You can find us uh, all over the place online. Um, also, please don't be shy to ask us questions or send us emails. Um, we are incredibly passionate about um, educating creators and making sure that they ha they have somebody to talk to, or you know, if they don't know where to start, we're there to to help them along. Um, our we're very passionate about making sure that we can help you know encourage other creators to create because their voices are needed and. Um, especially other creators from technically minority positions. Uh, so um, that is very important to us, and we think it's uh, deserving of their voices to be heard. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, you've done wonderful. Like I said, I enjoy the comic because I do love seeing that main character and all the other characters that are there. They're quirky, they're fun, they're very real, and you would expect then in a uh, post-apocalyptic post society, there would be a lot more people who are a mix of different colors, and you're like kind of giving it like the actual look it should have so um, I appreciate that guys go check them out seriously it's a really great read you have a lot to go through if you've just started like I said it's been weekly for about two years so get that started put down that manga pick up that American animation uh, that American comic online and support these guys locally we're always saying support the craft and these guys craft is phenomenal so on behalf of uh, you know Kamikaze crew and everybody here at Momocon it was great talking to you guys we will see you soon this is Little Ren I'm out <laughs> I love you guys! <laughs> I love this book! Come on, come on! Did it go? Yeah, no, yeah, it's okay. okay. <laughs> he records like, no, it, no. then he gets it. He's like, shut, stop it.